हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लीन कर बाय केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन अदर एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई हाइपर यूरिशेमिया इज सीन इन द केस ऑफ वॉन गेयर के डिजीज यू माइट हैव सीन नोइंग द वॉन गेयर के डिजीज इज ए ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिजीज एंड हाइपर यूरिशेमिया इज ए डिसऑर्डर वेयर वी आर हैविंग हाई अमाउंट ऑफ यूरिक एसिड इन आर ब्लड सर्कुलेशन सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज वॉन गेयर के डिजीज वन गेर के डिजीज इज द टाइप वन ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिजीज इन द केस ऑफ वन गेर के डिजीज वी आर हैविंग डिफिशियंसी ऑफ वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंजाइम दैट इज ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेटेज दिस एंजाइम वी डोंट हैव वट इज सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेटेज इज वेन वी आर गोइंग टू डिग्रेड ग्लाइकोजन फॉर ग्लूकोज प्रोडक्शन सो फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंजाइम फॉर ग्लाइकोजन डिग्रेडेशन इज ग्लाइकोजन फॉस्फोरिल इज विच गिवस अस ग्लूकोज वन फॉस्फेट There are two important enzyme: glycogen phosphorylase and debranching enzyme. Here, uh, we are not. I am not going to talk about the glycogen uh, degradation, so that's why I am not written both the enzymes. But glycogen is going to give us glucose one phosphate. This glucose one phosphate is going to be converted to glucose six phosphate by phosphoglucomutase. Now, this glucose six phosphate have multiple fates. It will be metabolized to glucose by glucose six phosphatase. and glucose is going to be used for different purposes or it will go to the blood circulation or this glucose 6 phosphate directly enter into glycolysis and metabolize to pyruvic acid and then further for other processes so if we don't have this glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme so glucose 6 phosphate will not be converted to glucose and in that case this glucose 6 phosphate is going to accumulate in the cell so there will be accumulation of glucose 6 phosphate and glucose will not be converted so glucose will be deficient so because of this deficiency we are having a disease that is called as von gerke disease or type 1 glycogen storage disease now what is the fate of glucose 6 phosphate so this glucose 6 phosphate have multiple fates i have told you it will be converted to glucose by glucose 6 phosphatase which is absent in case of von gerke disease this glucose 6 phosphate directly enter into glycolysis and it will be metabolized for uh, give you pyruvic acid or acetyl coenzyme a then this glucose 6 phosphate also can involve in glycogen synthesis and one important pathway where glucose 6 phosphate works as the substrate that is pentose phosphate pathway or hexose monophosphate shunt where it converted into ribose 5 phosphate and nadph it will gives so i here in this case i am concentrated on i am going to focus on this pathway so whenever you are having in case of von gerke disease when you are having high concentration of glucose 6 phosphate because we are not able to convert to glucose in that case this glucose 6 phosphate enter into hmp shunt pathway hexose monophosphate shunt pathway and as a result we are having high amount of ribose 5 phosphate will be produced this ribose 5 phosphate is one of the main substrate for purine synthesis so ribose 5 phosphate going to combine uh, and give us prpp so further after the 11 steps it will give us finally imp and imp will be converted to gmp and amp those are purine nucleotides means ribose 5 phosphate which we have get from the hexose monophosphate shunt will be converted to different purine nucleotides now so correlate it if you are having von gerke disease you don't have glucose 6 phosphatase in that case glucose 6 phosphatase will be accumulated that glucose 6 phosphate will come into the hexose monophosphate shunt you will get ribose 5 phosphate ribose 5 phosphate will convert into the more purine nucleotides and when we are going to have more purine nucleotides these purine nucleotides are going to be digested degraded and ultimately production of more uric acid will be there so we have started with von gerke disease where deficiency of glucose 6 phosphate enzymes leads to accumulation of glucose 6 phosphate those glucose 6 phosphate increases the rate of hmp shunt ultimately we have production of high amount of ribose 5 phosphate and that ribose 5 phosphate ultimately works as a substrate for purine nucleotide synthesis and more purine nucleotides results into more uric acid because purine will be degraded and ultimately we are going to have high amount of uric acid production so in case of von gerke disease 
we are going to have more uric acid production in our body so this is the uh, answer for that one so this is all about for today so hope you have understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you like the video press the like button if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe it you can press the bell button so that you will get all the notification on time thank you very much have a nice day